Hello friends. Today I would like to show you my very special tree whose Latin name is Operculi Caria Decari. Perhaps I'm pronouncing it correctly. I don't know. The English name, the common name of the tree is elephant tree. But many trees that have a swollen and or wrinkled trunk or base are called elephant trees or elephant foot trees. The one I want to talk to you about is this one, Opercularia decari. First time I met this tree when we got a tour of private botanical garden, an arboretum really. Arboretum means botanical garden of perennial, of trees, arbor tree. Anyway, I got very much attracted by look of this tree because it has a very bumpy surface of a trunk and very small leaves. I wrote down the Latin name, Google it and found out that it does multiply by both root cutting and twig cuttings. So I went back there, asked the people if I can get a cutting, but they didn't want to disturb the natural growth of this tree. And so I ordered the seeds from Amazon.com. I paid for 10 seeds and got 11. But only one sprouted. The instructions said, soak it first. I soak it and it showed off to be berries. Not seeds, but berries, each berry having one seed. And uh, when I was Googling information about this tree, it said that it has a female flowers and separate trees than male flowers. So if you want to have seedlings, you need two trees, each one of different gender. Oh well. I have only one tree. You can find this tree often on the internet on a list of succulents, but it does not look like a succulent. But it does have succulent roots. Today the tree is one year and one month old from seed and I transplant it. Take a look. Here is my little tree and look it's already getting bumpy trunk. It's gonna be beautiful little bonsai I think and Inside of the little pod was twisted very thick root and the branch was few inches longer. So I cut two parts of that very thick root and the tip of a branch to try to multiply it. Here is the trick I cut. And here are the two roots. And as the Wikipedia says, it's supposed to shoot the twigs. I'll see if it will or if it wouldn't. If it will, voila! I'll have a one, two, three, four plants. And so I can plant some in a ground or in a large pot to try to grow it faster while still 
maintaining my original little bonsai that was growing in this light, but now I gave it more real growing medium. Hello again friends. Almost two months passed since I did these cuttings and this is how they look now. The twig didn't make it dry up, but the two succulent root cuttings both grew, ni grew nicely and they can be planted in their individual pots with regular adenium mix with succulent root buried so it'll look like a little tree and the little tree from which I did the cuttings regrew let me put a paper behind so you can see In a year or two I can make another two root cuttings probably from it. And one of these I'm hoping to plant in a ground or in a large pot to have a bigger specimen. So that's the conclusion that it seems to be much easier to multiply this elephant trunk, elephant trunk tree, elephant tree from the succulent root cuttings then from a twig. And that's all for now boys and girls. To me this is a very interesting tree because it has a very small leaves. It's quite suitable for bonsai and also because of its bumpy trunk. If you didn't sub subscribe yet and if you like this video maybe you want to subscribe so just hit it, hit the symbol on the lower right hand corner and also if you like this video you can give me thumbs up so I know you like it and that's all for now goodbye goodbye